his fourth birthday today so happy happy birthday Lincoln happy birthday hope you have an awesome day so yeah happy birthday from me Steve and all the town animals that we get on the cruise ship see if you can guess which each one of them are have a great day happy birthday so I don't know if you've heard about cruising ducks but we've got one here in our hand this duck here has traveled from America to New Zealand and now it's going from New Zealand to Australia Steve's about to hide it put it somewhere for some lucky duck hunter to find there it is we could just wait a couple of minutes see if anyone finds it but we won't we'll just hope it goes missing by the time we come back okay so tonight's elegant night we've got all our little towel animals on the bed waiting for our return oh this one's lost an eye poor bugger here we go. Off to dinner. <laughs> so here's tonight's dinner menu. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll have the prawn cocktail. And the uh the uh, six. Yeah. Uh, and grilled pork steak. Right, dinner's arrived. I've got the mozzarella sticks. So is Dad. Steve got the tomato soup. So did Mum. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so uh, shrimp cocktail. Dad's got one too. These guys are still eating their soup. Give this uh, little guy go. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Maine has arrived, and I've got the pork steak. Mum has the pork steak. Yeah, thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Very much. I also have a Caesar salad. Dad's got the pork steak. Steve got the pork steak, potato gratin, and also went for the classic uh, chicken sauce. So what we have. Okay, hey, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Okay, Dad's here. He's getting his sauce poured on. Green Mario. Cheese board. Mum and I have already had our desserts with the cream put on. Steve's got red velvet cake. This looks pink. Yeah, you got custard, honey and custard or something, wasn't it? Yeah, some, some sort of custard. So I got a bit risky here and it's $7.20 a bush. Got the feature twice. Let's see what happens.
queréis. ¿Cómo queréis? ¿Queréis un fresh dog? Just gotta keep that happening. Ooh, yeah, very nice. Struggle would have been great. Oh, that's nice. Getting better for the fishies in there. Ooh, one more. Oh, another cat. Okay, let's see what we get. So I'm here at, uh, guess the price to win. This is our piece of artwork that we're guessing. It is valued at under 40,000. I have guessed $33,795. Let's see if I win. Radio. So it is Wednesday morning, about I don't know 9:30. So we have made it to Morton Island. Um, cracking day. So it's probably in the early 20s now. There's a little boat. Um, and here, so we're heading down that direction for the water sports thing, so we can do uh, a variety of different activities. So this is Tangaluma Resort. Marie's testing out the sand in the water. Gonna give me the. <laughs> well, that's not a good sign. What happens about the 
in though we've like actually never seen the sand so beautiful. Beautiful so sand. Cool. Lovely clear water. Water test for me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a helicopter. Right here, yeah. So we're gonna make our way either on the shore there so we can see maybe on the boardwalk so we can see what to do, what shops there are. And then we'll head down, I guess right to the end or maybe where that white flag is. I'll let you know. It's a lot better than a steak pie, steak and cheese pie in the morning to give us some energy. And then to top it off is a iced mocha or frappy or prep and a coffee. We'll have these and then we will head off down the beach and do some activities. Here we measure our feet for our flippers. I am a half pink, half orange. When you guys have your wetsuits and things and everything, you can head around the corner here. Okay, so here's the kayaks, here's us, we made it, so from where those like houses and stuff are, tall boarding, so puffing, because it was against the current, it was hard work, so we parked up a bit early, and we'll walk down, and there's all the wrecks there, so I didn't get any shots on the way here, because the GoPro stopped, but I'll show you some stuff when we paddle back. Unfortunately, the tide has got a turn, so we'll be back into it on the way. Now, there also is a really cool sand thing there that you come running and jumping down, so maybe if someone's got the energy, they'll do that. Otherwise, we're going to go this way. This is the first wreck. I think it's about 12. Let's see everybody's off around the corner. And I'm going to follow her. Half a good puppy. Here we go.
Okay, so this is the seaside side of the wreck. Actually, it's a lot more choppy this side than cloudy. But I've managed to find a piece of old wreck and an old screw to hold on to. I'm rooted. Uh, so this is like, I don't know, a quarter of the way around. Still lots over there yet. All through there. But we'll go the other side because it's a lot calmer. There's Amory trudging away in. Well, I can go through this part here though. This looks pretty cool. Actually, we'll go through this part back that way. Paddling your way back. It's um, unfortunately pretty murky. The uh, the equipment fogs up a bit, so we five minutes or so you have to take your mask off, coil of water, and snuff it back out. That's a bit of a pain. Water's all right. It's not freezing, it's not warm, very busy, like on the far side, it wasn't so busy but it's too choppy, this side there's way too many people, there's dodging flippers and snorkels and people so we'll head back to our little kayak. So I was going to go down that, but then I didn't. There's Anne Marie up ahead. I cast her off a little while ago. Tide and wind is with us, so it's a lot easier. So we'll see you back over there. Okay, so made it back to the shore and to headquarters here. There's a band playing in there somewhere. So we're going to look to go get a drink, maybe something to eat up in the bar upstairs. 
we've still got another couple of hours before we have to be back to the ship. At least a couple of hours, so we'll enjoy our time here. We've spent enough time on board, so we'll stay off as long as we can. Radio, woken up from a little nap on the beach. Here we go. We're going to walk and see what we can find. Down this way. There's plenty of people. Burgers. So we're going to look at this place here. Close at two thirty. What's the time? Hmm. Probably not really what I want. Okay, so we went past that place. It's probably not exactly what we want. Wind's picked up a bit, but it's still a beautiful day. There's the little tender that we came on, that little orange one. Just a life raft. So these are the accommodations when you want to stay here. There's lots of little batches and stuff like that to stay. So this is exactly where we are and what we're doing. Have a read of that. I've been there on the whale watching tour, so hopefully they get to see some whales. That is a blue lagoon. This is the way to get back to the, the ship. So there's already quite a few people lining up. They take about a hundred at a time, those tenders. We're a little bit away from going there yet. There's some quad bikes. We did see those before. They look like they go real slow and got to be in a tour party. So it looked pretty slack. is pretty much the whole part of the island that we're staying at. There's the wrecks all the way around there. So it was a two and a half k's paddle around there. So on the way there was, yeah, tough, but it's a lot easier on the way back. And there's the beach, beautiful white sand, nice and soft. So we're going to head back because there is only actually one bar and a place that sells, you know, burgers and chips or whatever, and that's back that away where we just came from we were lying down in front of so we're, to... so we're lining up for a coconut cocktail fresh coconut 12 white rum or coconut rum 18 coconut rum. so we'll see how they get made
so cheers got my coconut drink mm. yeah that is very good very very good cheers Drink down, very thirsty, so it's done. Now we'll go to the restaurant somewhere up here and we'll get a well, don't know, whatever's on the menu. Right in there. Unfortunately, the top bit doesn't look like it's open. That would have been cool. But we'll just go on this part here. We had dudes wiping that table, that might be ours. Okay, so we got the, the cold platter, which has got Morton Bay bugs, prawns and oysters. We also got the hot platter, which is coming in about 10 minutes. Emery got a 4X gold, and I got a Tui's new. So let's open this up. Oh, what about cutlery? And we got to get, oh, by the get cutlery, we just eat it by hand. All right, here we go. Emery's going to suck back an oyster. I don't even know how to eat it. Here we go, have a look. Out of the shell. Now, just to let you know, that there is worth $42, that little platter. So it better be really good. Oh, here we go. Right here we have the fried platter. So we got fish, calamari, and prawn cutlets with some chips. Rightio, so we had something to eat and drink. Now we're under the shade of the palm trees. Relax here for a while before we head back. It's been a really nice, it's definitely the best weather on the trip. So it's good. There's the sun trying to break through those palm trees. One last splash in the ocean before we get back to the ship. So out that way there is like Brisbane and the Gold Coast, that direction. Last look at Moreton Bay, or Moreton Island. There. Emery's stealing sand off the beach and sticking in a bag. Okay, just in line, and there's a nice big pelican and other little booties. Oh, that big fella. Cool. There he is right above us. I just mini saw that one. He'd love it. Okay, back on the ship after Morton Bay, or Morton Island, and come back to this little fella up there, having a nine eyes. So we're all dress, getting dressed up now. Tonight is uh, white night, so sort of white. Oh, you will get dressed later properly. This is my white anyway. And we just have to stay up to 10 o'clock to go to it. Um, right now we will go up and take some photos of the island and then do something else. Okay, right on almost sunset. It's been a really nice warm day here today. There's the Rex right there. Why do I? What are you doing? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
ballerinas. That's it. Lots of bruises spread out. If I tap you twice on the shoulder, I want you to dance in the aisle. That's not touching out, dance in the aisle. This is the white party. So everybody has headphones on. See so there's blue ones, green ones, and red ones. So everyone's listening to a different DJ. So everyone's dancing differently and singing different songs. So we're gonna see if we can get some headphones and see what's happening. And silent party, silent white party. Morning guys from the night before, um, last day at sea today, so I'm not sure what we'll get sorted out, I know we're going back to the steakhouse, back to the casino, and then yet into Sydney, I also found duck this morning, okay, so um, I'll see you in the next vlog if there is another one, okay. As you see a nice sunset night, um, we're about to go to the steakhouse for our final meal, which we got thanks to our play at the casino, our casino host. Um, usually we sit out here at night well, in our other cruises and sit and watch the sun go down, but it's only been warm a couple of nights the whole time we've been here. So yeah, so this is the last night vision or light vision you'll see from us. Um, so we're going to have a dinner now and um, there's our Marie's outfit. You may have seen the other night. Got a repeat, repeat. there is 10 days here so we'll show you um, what we get for our meals. 
we are starting with a $16 glass of red wine. 17. 17. 16.25. And a mojito. Not sure what that costs, but Emery's paying, so who cares? Well, we think I'm paying. I'm still putting it on your room first. So Emery's got the beef carpaccio. Beef carpaccio. And I have the pork belly. Waiting on the onion soup. And here we have the onion soup. Mains have arrived. So I have a 500 gram scotch fillet with red wine jus, mac and cheese, and a baked potato. Amory has six lamb chops, <laughs> mashed potato, garlic, broccoli, three mustard sauce, and a lamb jus of some sort. Okay, looks great. Absolutely fantastic. So look, here it goes. And here's the ending of the uh, little fruit basket platter type thing. We cancelled out the desserts because we were too full. Yeah. So this will do us. 